मुझे यहाँ पे आके बहुत खुशी हुई है इट इज़ अ बिग ऑनर फॉर मी टू बी अ पार्ट ऑफ सच अ वंडरफुल फंक्शन आई एम सो इंस्पायर्ड बाय डॉक्टर शेख्स स्पीच एंड हर पर्सनालिटी आई थिंक शी थिंक्स जस्ट लाइक मी एंड एनी अदर वुमेन एंड आई वुड रियली रियली विश हर ऑल द बेस्ट मे द फर्स्ट बी विथ हैंड I paint and I also uh, teach children and I work with underprivileged children and special children. I think art can uh, uh, infuse a lot of joy in uh, their life, and I do that because it's just something that uh, one must share. So you have to share joy, happiness, um, uh, whatever resources you can gather for uh, people who are uh, in trouble or they uh, people who are needy. I also work with marginalized uh, communities, uh, women who are uh, from the backward classes, and they do not have any support. Uh, they are forced into uh, uh, professions that are not, uh, you know, they're not good, um, and they don't have a choice really. The little girls, they don't have a choice. They they are just pushed into it. So I work with a foundation uh, in uh, Rajasthan. Uh, it's called the Nirvana Foundation, and uh, uh, I think they're doing some brilliant work uh, in the rural areas. Uh, for somebody like me, who's uh, uh, you know been born and brought up um, in a very very cosmopolitan uh, surrounding, my father was in the army. He was um, he retired as a colonel, a uh, very highly decorated uh, war veteran, and um, I'm one of three uh, daughters. So uh, he just brought us up uh, like boys, and um, you know he never stopped us from doing anything. Uh, go ride horses, uh, go ride motorbikes. Um, you know, uh, we got to drive tanks uh, and uh, shoot guns and do all of that. And um, then I was, you know, in this village uh, looking at these girls and uh, their backgrounds, and and it was uh, just shocking, appalling. I didn't know uh, what was going on. Uh, I had no idea that you know there is such a dark side to uh, our society. And uh, I really wanted to do something uh, for them, so I started uh, teaching them art. Uh, but uh, it was always uh, driven by some message, so there had to be a social um, message, uh, something very important. So uh, from their background, I had to go deep into their culture to understand them, their families, how are they brought up, what are their values, and then I realized that. You know these children; they are suffering. They are traumatized. They are sent to Bombay, Delhi, to beg. They are treated so badly. They are abused. Then they are again sent back to the village, and they are just growing up in garbage. Uh, and this foundation is trying to educate them. And these girls are actually now, um, you know, getting out of that profession, and they are, uh, uh, you know, uh, looking at uh, another, another career. Uh, they can do medicine. They can do uh, so many other things. And uh, I think it's it's uh, something that I find very very. uh you know it's very very close to my heart that you know if you are from a privileged background and you have everything uh you know everything is given to you on a platter my i have had so much support from my family my husband my in-laws it's incredible how my parents have brought us up and you know we've had the world uh, at uh, at our feet i have traveled into so many different countries but when i go to the village and i see the state of our women i am just in tears and i really think that you know we have to step outside our, of our comfort zone and um, really go down and go deep into their stories to be able to help them and for them to also trust us because they look at you uh, you know like what do you know how do you even you, you know understand us do you even know our story do you even know our background you come from this big city you know educated um, english speaking uh, all of those things and uh, once you sort of get into their life and you You actually live with them, eat with them, uh, stay with them, sleep with them. They really understand that that no, that there is um, you know there is somebody who is uh, going to help us, and uh, they are really interested uh, in doing something. And then they start trusting you, and they start believing that there is a, you know there is hope, and all they need is a little bit of confidence because in their little structure, you know, it's all dominated, male dominated structure. Where yes, it is very hard for them to break out of it. Uh, you cannot say that you know uh, they have to fight, and you know you, you, they can't become aggressive. and suddenly you know and say we are going to fight the system so they have to live in those boundaries and they have to survive in that so whatever it is that they can do uh, i think um, they just get a, a little bit of confidence and you know people like us we really have to do this you know it's, it's it's our duty really thank you so much and i'm i'm really happy to be here and i'm privileged and honored and uh, i would really really love to be a part of this movement in some way or the other and keep uh, you know helping